does this ever happen to you? Alright, so I'm counter strike. First I'll get something to eat, I'm starving. Oh shit. Fear no more, because I have the solution. What if I told you that I've wrote a program that clicks the accept button even if you're not at the computer? Let's take a look. So we enter our CSGO resolution. You can get your resolution from the video settings. Now just hold F1 until you hear this sound. On, on. Your cursor should now relocate to the middle and twitch every second. To turn off the auto accept, just hold F2 until you hear the off sound. Let's fast forward a bit. Now, whenever the accept button appears, the program will click it. So how can I get this incredible product, you might ask? It's easy. You have two choices. Either the 20 IQ beta download from Link way, or the 150 IQ big brain way. Let's do the easy way first. Alright, the easy way. So, first of all, you will have to get to this link, which is located in the description. And after that, you will have to enter the password shown on screen. So, when you have entered the password, just wait for this. Now here, click on the download files button and choose whatever you want use WinRAW for example to run. drag it to the desktop now we have the EXE here so if you start this it might not come up like this you might get an antivirus warning and in that case, you will e either have to trust me, or you will have to leave this video right now. Since if you don't trust me, then you shouldn't run the application. Is it as easy as that? So now we can enter the resolution. This is just for testing. And hold F1. On. goes back so hold F2 off, to off. turn it off so that's the easy way now it's time for the hard way okay so you chose the hard way let's open Visual Studio and we will Code it all over again. So choose the .NET framework, Windows Forms. Let's call it Auto Access. Auto Accept. All right. We make it a bit smaller since we don't need more space. Another text box. So this will be the X coordinates. 
copy paste that. And uh, at the bottom. And we don't need to do anything more than this. Now, double click on the button and go back. Double click on the forms app or on the form so in the middle of the form. There we go. Alright, we will have to add some DLL imports first of all. So the first one. And to fix this, just hover over it, show potential fixes, like it using system. So that's an easy way to handle errors. And after that, just add this problem, add the external long, set cursor position, and we will say X coordinates and Y coordinates. So that's the first DLL import. Actually, we don't need to copy that yet, but let's do the speech thing. Oh, yeah, we need to. So go to references, add reference. And uh, now add uh, assemblies, so for system .h. and add it. So, synthesis. So that we got that one now. Let's call it text to speech equals new speech synthesizer. Oh, that's done. Now you can copy this, copy, paste, and it says static extern short get async key state. So for the hop keys, now the last DLL import, so copy paste again this part and public static void mouse event so it takes int dv flags int dx int dy int c buttons So that's all the DLL imports. Now we will add some variables to this. So first of all, left up. So the mouse click up equals zero x int left down zero x x x two and a boolean on off equals false since we don't want to start it when we start the application we want our hotkey to start or set this to on all right so or actually we will have to add x into y so these are the coordinates we will use. So for this button that we added earlier, we'll have these or whatever you put in this these text boxes, we want to parse them into integers to use here. So for that we just do this int dot parse and a string. Or text box one dot text so this is the first text box and we will do the same for the next one now we just change it to y and text box two so now 
let's move on to the form load function which we will oh yeah we need to add using system dot grading we want to use spreads for this spreads aa for our text set equals new thread and the function we will declare later let's call it our text set and let's run it in the background so we start Uh, let's do or make this function so a uh, no I'll avoid how to accept which always is on we'll first check for the on and off hotkeys and then if it's on we will do the clicking it's easy so if that is in key state key start i will use f1 since it's in the uh, program from earlier if we press or hold f1 during this if statement it will turn the boolean to true and after that we will have the text to speech which we set earlier to speak async and it will say on since it's on now since we don't want it to end quickly because we will also cancel because otherwise if we hold this it will stack up so it will say on for a very long time if you hold it down so first of all let's set a sleep to 500 milliseconds so it can say on before we cancel it which we do right now cancel all so this prevents it from stacking up so now if or else if get async key state keys dot f2 so this is the cancel button which we can just copy this so it false change this to off so it says off and it does ex exactly the same like this one but it just turns it off so last of all we will check if on off is true then we will do the click function so else if on off equals true we will do set cursor position to oh i forgot all right so in the bottom click we forgot to divide it by two since if we we only have the x coordinates which is the whole screen we get the position of over here and bottom so if we divide it by two it, it will be in the middle so divide both by two and for the y coordinates we need to add a couple of pixel pixels so 75 i have tested this it, it's okay it should work for the most maybe not if you have a really special resolution but then you will have to fix it yourself it's not that hard so the button or the accept button is in the middle but it's a bit down 
that's why we add these pixel pixels. So we will set the cursor position to x and y, and after that we will sleep for a little while, 100 milliseconds, and then we will perform a click. So mouse event. Uh, left down and just oh did I forget something? <laughs> oh yeah, I did. This is not supposed to be there. All right. So, are you kidding me? There we go. So, we will add uh, another sleep statement for only one millisecond before we perform left up. So it resets from down to up. It performs a click. After that, we will change the cursor position again. So this time we will add 10 pixels. And then we will perform another click. So we could add a this sleep statement there as well so now we have moved the cursor and clicked on another place so we will take it back to the original place or first add a sleep statement here and then move it back and perform another click so we just <laughs> so it just clicks a lot and since we have while true it will always run let's add a sleep statement over here as well so we don't burn the CPU too much let's set it to 10 milliseconds We could actually add a message box here. Changed. So now if we start this, it should work. What on? Changed. On. So now it's actually not that buggy since in the original program I sent the left up before I sent the left down, which I should fix. <laughs> Alright. Off. So that's it for the hardware. Thank you for watching. See you later.